Not bad. Slightly loose, just enough to get some glue in. Of course, being the plywood, there's a lot of splintering out, but we'll use some uh, plastic wood filler. That should come out good. Okay, all the box joints are cut. So I'm gonna dry fit it and figure out where I wanna put my dados for the top and bottom. My plan is to build this box all together, top and bottom, and then once it's dry and sanded, I'll cut the top off. Um, doing a little sample here on this test piece I had, gluing up. So I want to try rounding these corners and I um, have to do it with the sander since that's plywood and it'll split out, but I just want to see how that's going to work out. I don't know if it'll work out being ply, even though it's Baltic ply, uh, pretty splintery, so we'll see. Okay, there's the dry fit. Just got it clamped together there, no glue. Um, square. So now to figure out what I want for the top and where I'm going to cut in my half inch dados around for the top and bottom and then pull it apart, cut those pieces off of that big sheet of ply over there and then I can do a glue up which is going to be a mess for me. I'm messy with glue ups and with the four sides and a top and a bottom all at once. Yeehaw! Oh well, definitely use the slower drying glue. Okay, got a dry fit back up. Got it clamped on here just to hold it tight. Got square, it's very square. Now I'm gonna measure for the lid and the bottom in here. And in the top. And get those cut. Dry fit again then, and if it fits good, uh, glue up. And then after it's glued up and I get it all sandy, sanded and puttied on the corner or whatever, get it looking good, then I'll put it on the table saw and cut my lid off, probably about an inch down. So here we go. Thank you. 